Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do a special video specific to the equinox that's happening on September 23rd, 2019. So in the Northern Hemisphere, it's going to be the fall equinox. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's going to be the spring equinox. So this is a time of year where the day equals the night. There's an equal amount of light and equal amount of dark as the sun moves through its transition from winter into spring and summer into fall. So wherever you are, um, there is this is a time for celebration. Um, many cultures around the world celebrate equinox, fall and spring. So depending on where you are, it's a beautiful time. And there are some common themes that run through equinox energy where we're going to take a look at that here today and um, see how the energies are going to be affecting us. Now, basically, this equinox is all about balancing your life with the desires of your heart. You know, how can you actually bring into reality things that you deeply desire in your life? So if that's something you're interested in and bringing forward, we're going to look at the energies going on as well as how um, they may be affecting us and what's closing out, what's healing, what is being celebrated. We're looking at both the masculine and the feminine collective energies, which we, of course, all have both energies within us. This is something I've been teaching for a very long time. Um, so understanding that we have both energies within us, there are going to be messages that resonate from the masculine pile and the feminine pile when I pull cards. And just know that if you're a little new to the, the topic of masculine and feminine energy, don't worry. Just look at this as the two different sides of yourself and how the energies may be affecting you. So don't worry about the label and just listen to the messages as they resonate. So with that, we're going to get started here and pull an overall theme for the equinox for both the masculine and the feminine collective. Oh, and really quick, um, you guys have been sending me so many emails here because I just closed out my um, my Soul Grow subscription uh, introductory special on Monday, but because I know many of you guys had a lot going on and I've gotten a bunch of emails like, I missed the deadline, I missed the deadline, can I still do it? Um, I have decided to extend the intro pricing, the special offer, through the equinox so monday september 23rd midnight pacific time that is i'm not going to extend it beyond that but i know that um several of you have have contacted me that you are so bummed that you missed out on being able to lock in that special introductory price so um i'm i've just decided to extend it out through monday august 20 third midnight pacific time and just know that after that it's just going to be the standard pricing which honestly is still quite a bargain for the amount of videos you get access to so with that guys um i just want to announce that because i know many of you guys were excited about it and bummed that you missed the window to get the introductory special so all right let's get going here first let's pull an overall theme for the masculine for the equinox here and he's getting anger and uh, I'm gonna pull another card for both the masculine and the feminine but what I'm feeling right away from this is this is where he may be releasing past hurt past frustration past anger that he's been holding within and this is also about realizing that anger isn't necessarily all bad that if you channel it into something positive using it as fuel for your future that it can be a really positive force. It's a very human emotion. Um, there's, you know, you can't transcend ever feeling angry in your life. Those spiritual people who pretend to never get angry or frustrated, they're live, they're not, they're not being truthful, <laughs> and they're also not being human. It's a human experience. So, um, there could be something about really transmuting whatever um, frustration or anger you have felt in your life moving it into a positive direction and it's honoring all of your emotions as sacred this is about the acceptance of the times where we are we should be angry about things that are going on and here it is what do you need to release so this is truly about releasing any remnants of anger where has anger been poisoning you where has anger been holding you back where has it been keeping you stuck 
And because ultimately anger is an energy that has repercussions, um, not only into your personal environment and your manifestations, but also to your relationships. So to me, this is a beautiful message for the masculine coming in about really releasing some anger. So again, we may be, for example, over um, uh, primarily a feminine energy. We all have both energies within us, but at my core essence, for example, I'm a feminine. Um, but if you've been a feminine, a divine feminine feeling anger, this could literally be your inner masculine feeling frustrated, feeling angry. And again, it doesn't matter what's the cause. The fact is, if this is resonating for you, it could be related to your masculine energy. So with that, let's check out what the message is for the feminine for the equinox here. Because the equinox is all about being... Um, like moving on to a new phase of your growth. And in order to do that, think about it. We have spring cleaning in the spring and we have the harvest in the fall. So we harvest the crops, we clear it out, we prepare for winter. So there is a clearing out energy that happens with the equinox. So it's perfect that this card came out um, here for the masculine. So for the feminine, we're getting innocence. This is about making sure you're taking time out to play, nurturing your inner child. This is about being curious. This is like, like li living like a child does and looking like at everything that's happening around you with a childlike sense of wonder. So if you've been working hard, um, in your life, nose to the grindstone, busy, busy bee, this is about making sure you're making time for some fun. And we're getting a time to give rather than take. Fascinating message here. Coming through for the feminine. Now I can just sense some of you getting a little bit triggered by this message coming through. But um, to me, this is really about nurturing your inner child, giving to your inner child. If you have been dealing and, and processing and growing and moving through aspects of your soul growth, and you have been um, coming up with past wounding and keep coming up against it, against it in your life, getting triggered the same way. This could be a time to really go inward and give to your inner child and give to yourself. You know, this is really about giving to yourself. What do you, you know, instead of looking for somebody else to give to you or to do something for you, this is about what do you want to do for you? How can you nurture yourself on a much deeper level and in a much more committed way? So, um, beautiful messages to start this reading. So we're going to take a look here at the themes of the equinox, which we're going to start at what is being celebrated, what abundance is being celebrated for the divine masculine with this equinox. What has he been harvesting and what abundance is coming in? And we're getting the lovers right off the bat, you guys. Okay. So, um, there you go. This is about coming into true harmony with the feminine, the feminine within himself, the feminine aspect of yourself, and also potentially someone who represents the sacred feminine in your life in the form of a person, in the form of a relationship, a romantic relationship. It could be a family relationship. It could be a friend relationship. But this is truly about aligning the energies of the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. This is the major arcana of the, you know, the major arcana around spiritual love, spiritual relationships, um, the purpose behind it. What do we want from love? So this is abundance that's coming in here for the masculine, this abundance that's being celebrated. So whether this is coming in the form of a person, a new relationship, or a deepening of an existing relationship, this is coming in as something to celebrate. And the King of Swords, this is about clarity, maturity, truth, action. So this is about knowing what you want to do and doing it. This is someone who's decisive. This is someone who has thought things out. They haven't, they're not being... Um, impulsive they're not being emotional they're very clear and they are taking action so some of you may be taking action in your life towards towards love 
and celebrating the, the, the journey that you've been on here since the summer began if you're in the northern hemisphere and if you're in the southern hemisphere this is about what you're ready to plant seeds and grow with here coming into the new season and the hanged man so to me this feels like this is about you it's like you have finally seen things from a new angle you have been patiently waiting for the time you have been it's like the universe has held you up here paused in your life throughout this time and it's getting you ready to move to the next phase and in this deck look the hanging man's he's he's doing like a ballet move or a what is it called you know how you can do those classes with the with the bands and had suspended from the air, those exercise classes. He's not hanging there frustrated. He's actually making the best of it and he's finding the joy in the situation that he's been in. So what's, what's happening here in terms of what's coming in to be celebrated is his new perspective on love, the clarity he has on love, what it means to him, um, what it isn't to him and what it hasn't been in the past. So this is a beautiful, beautiful message here for the masculine. So let's see what um, abundance is being celebrated for the Divine Feminine with this equinox. What abundance is she bringing in and celebrating for herself with this? She's getting the High Priest, the Hierophant, the Two of Swords, and the King of Wands. So she... What's coming forth here is there's a higher spiritual lesson that she potentially needed to see. Maybe she wasn't quite seeing it. She didn't want to see it. She didn't want to acknowledge it about herself, but it's been necessary for her to see it. So there is something here where she's learning and she may be moving forward with something in her life, something that's very spiritual in, in nature. This certainly can be work related. This can be just direction in life. This can be love. This can be a number of things. But what I'm feeling for the feminine is she has actually now cleared up and learned a mess, um, a lesson spiritually that she didn't know she still needed to learn. It was almost like, oh, maybe I didn't want to know this or I wasn't seeing it or I thought I didn't need to see this. And some of you also could be taking action in your life that's bringing you some more peace of mind and calm. And tell me about this Two of Swords and the High Priestess. So this is a deeply spiritual message. So this is exactly what I was saying. I don't even need to pull those other cards, but it helps because it's just confirmation. But this is about you now seeing new things that you needed to see that you weren't ready to see before. If you had sh been shown these things before, it wouldn't have been the right time. So you are now beginning to see things clearly. You are moving out of this, this energy. And um, this is where it's like, like the divine cannot give you everything all at once. They've got to give you lesson a bit by bit by bit by bit. If they threw it all at you, you'd go into shock. <laughs> I mean, literally, energetically, spiritually, you'd be like, I can't handle this all. And there is a magic in the way the divine um, and the universe brings us lessons and unfolds the lessons exactly as they were supposed to. So you've just been completing this major cycle of a lesson here, Divine Feminine, where you are now understanding an aspect of self and an aspect of your spiritual path that you didn't see or didn't want to see before, but you're now seeing it and it's bringing you the ability to move forward with something that's going to bring you a lot more peace of mind, whatever that may be for you. So let's see what's clearing out for the masculine here. What's clearing out? Oops. Well, apparently a lot. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of cards. I'm going to put them back and I'm going to keep shuffling. <laughs> guess the masculine's like done with it. I was like, to hell with it all. I'm done with everything. Done with everything crappy. I'm done with everything frustrating. I'm done. I'm releasing all of this crap. So, okay, maybe there will be a lot of cards, but let's see here. What is um, clearing out for the masculine with this Equinox energy? The 
the seven of swords. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll explain in a second. The nine of swords. I love it even more now. Yep. What's clearing out? And the four of cups. Wow. So what's clearing out for the masculine is the energy of the mind, the fears, the thoughts, the limiting beliefs, where the masculine was deceiving himself about his life, his direction, what he was supposed to do, what he was feeling, what he was thinking. And um, it's, it's, it's cleared out the anxiety. It's cleared out the the mental anguish, the the sleepless nights, the things that that weren't working. And one of the aspects of Equinox energy is clearing out illusions, clearing out illusions that we've been living under. And this is it right here because there's been something missing. He's been living in an illusion in some aspect of his life where it's not something's been missing from it. He's not been fully emotionally content there's been something missing it's probably it may be okay but there's not like this this mm, like this oh there's something that I need that I don't have in this situation so to me this is about him breaking free of anything that's been illus illusionary in his life this can be relationships this can be ideas this can be patterns of thinking this can be other people's expectations of him whatever it is it's clearing out it's like get the hell out of dodge right beautiful beautiful message here so let's see what's clearing out for the divine feminine what is clearing out for her this one really wants to come out here oh and we've got the ten of pentacles wow Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful, abundant energy. And the Six of Cups. Oh, my word, you guys. All right. We're talking love, soulmate love, happiness, inner child. This can represent the inner child. And I'm not discounting this aspect of the Six of Cups. Because look at these are the children playing here. Playing here in the field next to the well. And the justice card. So what's clearing out here is past, past um, family patterns. Because the Ten of Pentacles does represent family. And when we're getting the inner child here, giving to your inner child, nurturing your inner child, healing the inner child, and karmic justice, things coming into balance here. Things that have needed to learn, like... You have needed to learn some karmic lessons around your inner child and your and your and your wounding. We all have it. This is not. It's like if you're alive, you have wounding. It's just part of the spiritual journey, and it's all different for all of us. But this is really around what's clearing out is past um, past pain and upset regarding family. Now, for some of you, I have to say you could be moving forward with a divorce or completing a divorce at this time because we get the family, the six of cups. Maybe there's been custody battles here because with the children and the legal system with the justice card. So there could be that could be completing for some of you at this stage, obviously not for all of you being a general reading, but there's definitely a completion energy for the feminine around um, family and things coming back to justice, making things right after things have been out of balance. All right. So um, so if this is resonating, guys, I am going to be doing my extended. And in that extended, I'm actually going to be breaking down what is closing out for the masculine mentally, emotionally, and spiritually with this equinox, but also what's being planted, what's starting. So you're going to look, take a look at what's closing out in more depth. This is obviously giving you that, but we're just going to break it down even more specifically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We're going to look at what illusions are being transcended. We're going to look at what's breaking, what they're breaking free from, what remaining chains that have kept them bound, just like the masculine's getting rid of, what chains are they specifically breaking free from, as well as guidance for how to navigate the equinox. So if this is resonating, I will be doing an extended, but we still have more here to go. So let's see what um, is being healed for the masculine. And in fact... having me use a different deck. 
what's healing or been healed for the masculine around this equinox? Surrendering unhealthy relationships. Wow. Letting go of un letting go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and surrounded by positive people. That's, I mean, many of you guys are releasing past um, frustrating relationships, toxic relationships, things that maybe things had transpired that were not good. Um, maybe you learned some lessons through those relationships, but you, with the lovers coming in here as the first card that jumped out for you, it's clearly like, this is about making sure that you are moving towards being surrounded by positive people. I love it. I love it. And this doesn't have to be love relationships. This is unhealthy relationships in general. And sometimes those are family members. That means limiting our exposure to family members who are toxic to us. Maybe they're chronic complainers. Maybe they're just negative. Maybe they suck the life out of you. Maybe it's not a balanced relationship. Whatever it is, it could be friends, colleagues. Could be romantic relationships, of course. But it can be any relationship. So you deserve to be treasured and by others and to be surrounded by positive people. That's what's been missing here for you. This is why this is clearing out this feeling of lack, that feeling of something missing. It's that it's that notion of being treasured. There's something about being treasured that has been missing from the masculine for whatever he's been in. It's like this, like it might've been okay, but there's that, it's like you can't even put it into words. It's just like that, mm, like, so beautiful and nurturing and loving and just honoring. Wow, you guys, this is huge. I love this for, for, for those of you that this is resonating for. This is amazing. So let's see, um, for the feminine, what is she healing or is, she, is currently being healed with this equinox for the divine feminine? Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. So what she's doing is she's realizing that there's, um, she's done her work, she's done all that she can, and now it's up to the divine. It's up to divine timing. It's up to synchronicities. It's up to things lining up exactly as they're supposed to. And so this is about just letting go of the reins and just letting the momentum carry you, letting spirit carry you. I'm getting the image of somebody riding a bicycle where they were trying to steer and they're pedaling and pedaling and it's like they're just letting go of the handlebars and being like, letting that momentum carry them. All right, let's see what um, the new growth cycle is beginning for each of you with this equinox. What's being planted with this equinox here? Oh, that's two. Okay, let me just keep going. What's being planted for the masculine? The fool card, taking a risk. He's ready to go for it. He's on the precipice of making a big move. Just embarking on a new journey. He's, oh, he's done with the old. He's done with the past. And the queen of coins. And the ten of wands. So what I'm feeling from this is there's an energy of what's being planted is him taking his, the response, his share of the responsibility of the work, his share of the responsibility and um, just taking on literally he's embodying the sacred masculine. The sacred masculine has the responsibility to be the masculine in this incarnation, to represent the masculine energy that is the sacred masculine, not distorted masculine energy. The distorted masculine that is the responsible for all of the fear, the ego, the conditioning, the aggression, the, um, the, the conditioning that we've all been raised in. And it's time for the masculine to just take the responsibility that comes with being the sacred masculine. And he takes that, it's part of his role, it's part of his duty. And tell me about the yeah he's trying to he's taken on the new he's ready to do it with the 
two of coins. He's ready to heal. Yeah, so what's being planted here is actually taking the responsibility for where he's been in his life, for how he has shown up, how he has potentially hurt other people. With the queen of um, coins here, this is about understanding, kindness, nurturing. And it's like he's wanting to approach wherever he's going to, he's wanting to exhibit this queen of coin energy of being kind, understanding how he has been responsible for where he is today. It's like, you know what? I'm not blaming anybody. I am where I am today because of me. And I accept that and I understand that and I forgive myself. And I have healed this. I have I've healed through this. I'm ready to take on the healing. And there it is. The apology just came out. The Page of Cups. So there's a big message of um, acknowledgement and the awareness of where in his life he has hurt people or hurt himself in the process as well. So let's see for the feminine what new growth cycle is beginning that's being planted here for the divine feminine with this equinox. Oh, look at that, an ace of pentacles, a new start. A new start away from sadness and regrets from the past and the burden of the Ten of Wands. He's getting the Ten of Wands and she's getting the Ten of Wands because look at what this is. He's taking the responsibility here and here he is going back to the castle carrying all these wands. He is owning the, his part in this. And so what's starting for the feminine is breaking out of like, there's a new start that is beyond the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands energy. It's like, nope. Here we go. I'm just going to accept the responsibility of the past and the sadness of the past I created. So this new beginning is one where that is cleared out. Where that is cleared out. And there's that Queen of Pentacles. So here's this kindness, this forgiveness, this understanding energy coming in for both of them. So there's an Ace of Pentacles and there's the Fool. Guys, I, you gotta, I know you're noticing the mirroring here. We have the fool and the queen of pentacles, both for the masculine and the feminine. The pentacle is here being offered to the feminine. The responsibility, the ten of wands, and is also on both sides here. The apology is over here, the taking the responsibility of how things happened in the past, where things were hurt, the regrets of the past, the shame the um, guilt maybe that the masculine feels. That's what's all being transmuted. We've got three cards that are mirroring in this last little shuffle I did for both. That is highly significant. So I'm sure you can see with his, there's a risk here and a new beginning. There's a brand new beginning taking that leap, trusting the journey, trusting what will come. She doesn't know what's coming. There's no way to know what's going to come along your journey. You're just going to have to go on the journey and figure it out. Wow. I'm going to pull a final guidance card for you guys that are not going on to the extended. In the extended, we'll be getting a lot more in depth in what's closing out mentally, spiritually, and um, emotionally for both the masculine and the feminine and what's coming in in the breaking down mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for each of them. What illusions are being transcended, what they're breaking free of, and more guidance. But for those of you not going on to the extended, I'm going to leave you with a final piece of guidance for the equinox. First for the masculine. You and your loved ones are safe. The new moon in cancer energy. This is about being safe in your emotions. Cancer is a water sign. It's all about emotions. Cancer also represents the family, the home. And this is about knowing that you are safe to be in your emotions. Divine Masculine. And if you're moving on from a relationship, clearly, um, 
with the relationship, surrendering unhealthy relationships. Just know that everyone is going to be okay. You are safe to do this. You are safe to choose this. And for the feminine, show the world the real you. This is about being authentic in who you really are. This is not. A, this is about not hiding behind a mask. This is about not putting up a shield. This is about not hiding out. This is about you standing up, being in the light, and showing the world who you really are. Who is the sacred feminine? And, and owning it. She's owning who she is. It's, Spirit is asking you to own who you are. The feminine, nurturing, loving, giving, sensual, receptive, flowing, like all of those sides of you, whether you're a masculine or a feminine in your dominant nature, that's the side of you that's about embracing it. So for those of you that identify as primarily a divine masculine or masculine energy at your core, this is about appreciating the intuitive side of yourself. This is about appreciating the, the, um, the emotions. This is about appreciating your ability to navigate your emotions. This is about your ability to receive, to receive emotional and um, connection and nurturing, nurturing touch even. Like this is about you receiving that nurturing. Wow, this is a powerful reading, you guys. Um, whew, I hope you have felt it as much as I have. I'm going to head off and do the extended now. And um, again, the uh, special for the intro special to lock in the introductory price for the Soul Growth Accelerator subscription is um, extended through the Equinox. And that will be the last time that pricing will be available here. So with that, guys, um, so the link is down below. If you want to check it out and sign up, get your subscription. Um, and until next time, I send you so much love. Bye.